Howdy, this is Omitry Greg, and I want to talk to you about when to choose between SLS or Multi-Jet Fusion and SLA. So I think about SLS as my commodity material. This material is made with nylon powder being fused together by a laser. I could build parts in bulk batches, which uh, is an alliteration first off, but also uh, helps me keep the price very low. So a piece like this uh, can be very low priced and I could build a bunch of them all at once. So my lead times are relatively low as well. That being said, uh, I have medium level detail resolution to this. Um, I do have that kind of sugar cube matte finish, and the same goes for example for HP Multi-Jet Fusion where you come with that same surface texture and just about the same tolerances to it as well. I'm going to look at SLA 3D printing when I really care more about feature detail and a better surface finish. Not only is SLA more surface treatable, being I could sand it easier, easier paint it easier and kind of get a nice smooth um, finished product but I can also take SLA parts and get better detail resolution in the smaller features. So say I have text or say I have um, little gaps or small shop corners, that may be more resolved with SLA versus SLS. There's a price to that. SLA tends to be uh, more expensive than SLS. Sometimes depending on the part size, it may be an order of magnitude. Uh, that being said, uh, you can check your prices instantly at zometry.com and see how everything looks for you. If you have any more questions about SLS versus SLA or Multi-Jet Fusion versus SLA, uh, take a look at our surface finish videos as well as uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Thank you so much.